Okay, uh, hi everyone. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, two fitness projects uh, that are open source, uh, Vega and Thiel. Um, the author of Vega unfortunately couldn't be here today. Uh, his name is uh, Roland Geider, uh, so I'm going to be presenting both of these projects myself. And I'd like to start with uh, how we got motivated to work on these projects. Uh, if you look at um, the landscape of fitness apps out there today, uh, for example, if you uh, search for fitness on Google Play Store or Workout or anything like that, uh, you'll actually be hard pressed to find uh, any open source workout apps, uh, not just for Linux, uh, but in the grand ecosystem of apps on any platform. Uh, and that's really too bad because uh, then you're left with a bunch of uh, proprietary software uh, that obviously has certain disadvantages. Um, for example, no privacy, no control over your data. Um, you don't have control over the project, so if the project goes a certain direction, you can't really change that or um, influence the project in any way. Uh, and so we want to change this landscape, and we would like to make free and open source fitness apps the norm. Uh, kind of do for fitness what Wikipedia did for world knowledge. Um, it's, a, it's a long way there. We're uh, setting up some groundwork. Uh, right now the Vegar project has an open API uh, as well as a client app that you can, as of this week, also install on Linux. Uh, I'm war working on a somewhat simpler app called Feel uh, that's been on Linux for a few months now. Uh, and uh, I will discuss all of these uh, in a bit more detail. Uh, so if you look at the Vega API, uh, that provides access to all of uh, your workout data and your fitness data that you store in, uh, store in Vega. Uh, there's a lot of it there. There's uh, workout plans, uh, workout uh, recordings, nutrition plans, uh, meal logs, um, weight tracking, uh, all of that data is uh, either on your own server, if you do decide to self-host, or on the central Vegra server. Um, so that's an open API that any app can, can make use of. Uh, and besides the user data, it also provides access to a repository of exercises, which includes um, exercise descriptions, uh, some videos, some images, uh, and more. And uh, it's this part ha that has gained a uh, wiki front end uh, recently. Uh, so uh, this is relatively new. I it still has some flaws, but it's a web front end through which you can, uh, you can contribute uh, exercise information, exercise descriptions, exercise images, translations of this. And uh, we hope to create a central resource uh, that anyone can use for crowdsourced exercise information. So if you're looking for uh, how to perform a certain exercise well, if you are looking to build a workout and need inspiration for what kind of back exercises there are or physiotherapy exercises there are, we hope this is going to be the central resource. As it's new, it still has some flaws. Uh, one of those flaws is that you can't uh, add licensing information to images. This is being worked on right now, uh, so I would encourage you, if you want to contribute, to hold off on uh, contributing images for now, but maybe store them in a folder and then plan to upload them later, uh, because this is, this is actively being worked on. So this is an exciting um, crowdsourcing project that's part of Vegger. Um, and since I keep mentioning the project, I should also mention the application itself. Um, so Vegger is uh, the client, uh, runs on the web, so you can visit it online, uh, have it run in the browser. It also has uh, an app on Android, uh, which you can download via F-Droid. And uh, as of this week, it launched on Linux, on Flathub, uh, so you can download that as, as well. Uh, it's an online first uh, fitness manager with all of the data that you saw uh, on um, uh, a few slides ago uh, with the whole Vegger API fully integrated uh, and the entire complexity of it uh, available to you as the user. Uh, now the other client app that I mentioned is Feel. Uh, currently this is offline only. Um, 
there's being a lot of uh, work done on it, a lot of rewriting uh, that will allow it to integrate the uh, exercise information from the uh, crowdsourced wiki that I mentioned before. Uh, this work is ongoing, but it's still going to be offline first. And uh, this app is focused strictly on guided uh, workouts. So this is what exists uh, for uh, Linux and also for Android. But we're still far from the goal, uh, which is to make free and open source fitness apps the norm. How do we get there? Well, it's, it's not going to be me and Roland uh, working in our spare time doing all of this. We need you. We need the community to help us get there. Uh, we need you to either contribute to the existing projects or build your own projects, but we need uh, contributions from the community to help us reach this goal and help make uh, free and open source uh, fitness apps uh, sustainable a reality and a presence in, in uh, people's lives. We have some advantages as the open source community. Uh, we uh, believe in sharing code rather than building from uh, the beginning each time. Uh, we believe in um, certain ideals related to free and open source software. And uh, also, we have the advantage of a diverse worldwide community um, taking part. And if, if everyone uh, contributes just a little bit, we can build really great big things that a small insular team would not be able to, to build alone. So we have these advantages. And if you're feeling motivated uh, and want to help us get there, get to this free and open source fitness future, uh, there are a number of things that you can uh, help with already. So I mentioned the, the exercise wiki. Uh, there's a number uh, of ways you can contribute there. You can describe exercises. You can translate exercises. Uh, you can take exercise photos. Um, Field uses a specific style of photo, a, a low poly style. Um, that you can help uh, take a photo and, uh, and uh, convert it to this specific style. And of course, there's uh, more uh, standard ways for you to get involved, such as development, such as testing, either user testing or testing, writing uh, tests. Um, there's UX and UI design work that you can do. And of course, uh, there's the classic uh, simple if you have um, uh, social networks or just in your local community, you can help us spread the word about these projects. Uh, so if you're interested, uh, this is how you can help out. Um, both of these links contain information on uh, how to contribute. At the end of uh, each of these pages is a link to chat. Uh, so if you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, we'd, uh, we'd love to hear from you. And uh, that's, that's all for this talk. Thank you.